here to celebrate the winter solstice. After a little fail last night. Um, yeah. I'm out here in West Sussex. Uh, rain is coming down, as promised. I'm gonna go off into these woods somewhere and come here to celebrate the winter solstice, which is tomorrow, really. So, yeah. Off I go into the rainy darkness. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't want to meet me in the woods at this hour. This isn't going well. I've been walking around in this rainy forest, up and down, through paths and through hills, fallen trees. And I can't find a camping spot. The woods are literally riddled with paths. Now I've come to some mansion up there behind me. Even I might have to cancel this. I'm going to give one more last try, going that way, across the road, into another wood, and hope that that one's a bit more... And yeah, I'm going to go into the woods, find a camping spot, and yeah, settle down for the night. Um, it's winter solstice day today, so yeah, just going to enjoy that in the woods. Right, I'll update you soon. So for once, I've actually made it in the daylight. Well, the remaining shreds of it. Sun is fast going down. But, hopefully I'll be able to find a campsite before it completely disappears. I've got my food with me. And I've got a few little gadgets in a little bag. Them at the campsite, and then you're back for my main hiking bag. Nice little shelter here with a squirrel playing around it. Some sort of crater here. I think it's the path. Onwards and forwards. see some leafy ground where I can camp, just need to cross this little pond, stream, swamp thing. Hey, made it. Okay, I'm going to camp next to a fallen tree once again. And the school shelter. This shall be my home for now. I'm gonna stash the food in my little bag and go get the big bag. Bring it here. Should be fun. This place is just flat enough for my tent right here. And then there's a another one over there. Old mini fortress. Oh, I was liking this place, sadly. Came across a path.
that's right next to the super shelter. So, the location of the shelter has been abandoned due to a path that runs right next to it. Now, I need to cross this little stream without getting stuck in the mud or anything like that. Hmm. Quite lovely actually. Yeah, I think I'll walk upstream to cross it or downstream against the stream. I don't know, I'll walk down to where the stream's coming from. I think I found my way across. Ooh, I see like a huge collection of those tree mushrooms. This looks pretty cool. Mossy trees are pretty amazing all on their own. But then we have this just behind them. And I'm starting to feel like I'm in a fairy tale. Well, the sun is not doing well at all. It's pretty much gone down now. Just shining out from behind the trees. Better get on with finding this camping spot. Whoa, boggy! Shit. Wow, so many huge fallen trees in this place. It's the first time I ever camped in this place. I set up in the dark, as I usually do, and I came through the forest without using the path. So, I set up roughly straight in front of me. Uh, this was the spot right here. So where the path is, that is exactly where I pitched my tent, because it was autumn and the leaves had just fresh, freshly fallen, so the path when I came in the night was completely covered up. Set up in this nice spot next to the lake with the fire roughly around here. And yeah, I wake up in the morning and people are walking right past my tent. I'm thinking, what the hell is wrong with these people? Like, why are they so rude? And then I realized that actually I set up the tent on the path. I only realized that when I got out of the tent in the morning. But yeah, it was an experience. So yeah, luckily I'm here in the daytime today. And I'm gonna get off the main path to the left. 
find a nice spot here somewhere where I won't be in the dog walkers way. Well, I finally found the campsite. Now I'm just heading back to grab my stuff and set up this cool little bridge. The moon is coming up, looking lovely to my right. Should be a good night. I've made it. Here's my huge pack, gear, tents, sleeping stuff, way too much of it. Eh, but I'm going to be comfy. Right, so I've decided to settle down next to this big fallen tree. Here it is. Got my fire going. Haven't set up a tent or anything yet. Just thought I'd make a fire, chill out. It's only around 6 pm. Dark as hell, but hey, that's winter for you. Yeah, I've got the moon coming up. Looks like a full moon tonight. Nicely lighting up the forest. So, here's the setup so far. I'm chilling just here with my back to the tree. To my left, I've got more firewood, just a little bit. My saw, gloves, and stuff. Then I've got my little kitchen, just here. I've got my water, my pots and some snacks in there. Coffee just made. The kettle. Wipes and napkins, gonna have to put those away before they get wet. All my teas and coffees and seasonings and everything in here. Then behind the tree is the bin. Nice and ready. The fridge with the cold food is over there. Yeah, this is the life. Gonna have this coffee, uh, maybe make a cheese sandwich to go with it. Getting pretty hungry now. Then I'll start setting up the tent and such. All that gear is over there. The tent is now built. We've got a beautiful ember pit there. It's gonna be perfect for my barbecue. Flaming red. Right, let's set it up. Should be all right. Lost a few to the fire. Today's barbecue, we have chicken breast in mayonnaise, variety of seasonings, rosemary, thyme, peppers, salt, and then these actual peppers. A little bit of extra crunch. Potatoes are smelling really lovely already. I think I need to stir them a little bit. Cool, oh, nice and crusty. Yeah, I think this is all done. Done and ready. A bit slightly more charred. Than was intended. Looking lovely. It smells just beautiful. So, right, I'll serve this up. Yeah, let's rip this up. Put this one at the bottom. Whoa, look at that. It's lovely. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Cooked right through. The rain has really kicked in now. I'm just hiding under this sheet. 
It's actually a poncho that doubles up as a car. I got it off Amazon for like under a tenner, I think. Yeah, quite handy right now. Just chilling back here on my firewood. Enjoying the fire. Yeah, so while the rain is pretty annoying, it's not putting my fire out. And thanks to this thing, only the end of my legs are getting wet, really. Um, so yeah, quite comfy here, actually. I'm going to lie down, put my head on these logs. So it's now coming up to about 12 o'clock, midnight, on the winter solstice. Nature's new year is about to begin. My fire's quite low. I'm just about to have a cheese sandwich. Um, and then I'm just going to go down to the lake for midnight. Chill there a little bit. See the water. The moon is beautiful above me somewhere. There. Uh, yeah, very full. Well, it's a full moon. I guess as full as it gets. Um, yeah, and the clouds are flying past it very fast. Which makes it look quite interesting. I'm sure it looks like crap on the camera though. Charred cheese sandwich. Cheese melted really well. The bread got it a bit too much. Anyway. Cool, I'll update you at the lake if there's anything visible. Good morning. Here I am on the first day of the year, officially. Well, according to nature. Oh, just woke up about 10 a.m. Had a good night's sleep. No disturbances at all. Very nice and quiet. Yeah, I'm gonna start up the fire. And maybe go down to the water, freshen up a little, and then get the coffee on. Campsite survived the night nicely. There's my little branches to show where the string is, so I don't walk into it at night. Little wind shield from as the wind was coming down from the water. Developed a little windshield there, which was nice because I was sitting around there in front of the fire. Uh, yeah, and I had to hide under the windshield for a little bit when the rain kicked in. That's my kitchen. Everything's quite nice. The bin just behind it. Alright, let's get this back on. to have my coffee ready. Not boiling yet. Should be soon though. Whew. Time for a little snack before I get on with breakfast. So here I am, about to make breakfast. A bigger pan finally. Let's just start doing it. Right. Get that oil. Here is the first carving I ever made. Pretty rough around the edges and in general, but it's great for stirring the bacon and the mushrooms. Look at this breakfast, oh, it's like I'm eating for four. Yeah, I'm gonna dig into this. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be awesome. It's so good. Oh, yeah, don't know what more to say. So, let's go see this water. It's a huge 
Detroit, huh? It's like a meteor landed here at some point. <laughs> but to be fair, most likely some sort of pit where people were digging things, maybe chalk. Not sure if it's chalky here. Maybe just clay. I don't know what they were digging. But it looks like they were digging. These little pits are everywhere all around me. There's a little one here. Another little one just there. So I think I'll just chill here on this ledge for a little bit. Ah. Enjoy this beautiful view and the sunshine. Those big green trees there. I believe they're pine trees. Right over there. In the distance. It just looks so immense. Done. That was the fireplace. There's my crazy huge bag, 90 plus 15 liter bag, plus a little day hiking bag, plus the food bag, much emptier though. Two sleeping mats, the rest of the gear inside. So I'm just gonna strap this bottle on. Tie the rubbish on, strap on a couple of jackets, and off I go, and go home. It's about coming up to 2am now, should be a fun midnight hike. There's the moon, shining through the clouds and the trees, lovely. I am not going to fit under that one. Oh. Oh, spooky. Appears I'm being watched. Dun dun dun. Hike just on a hill, just hiked up hill. Second, like that. oh, I took it all out of me. I don't know if I can take any more, but luckily, there's a bench coming up right here. So, I need this bench bag. Oh. 
So, another trip is over. That's it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you had a great winter solstice and I hope you have a great new year from here on out.